One of the worst parts about being a YouTuber is messing up your camera settings. I made videos from Thursday till the Sunday, the weekend. And when I recorded them, I didn't think about the audio. So let me just explain myself real quick. I was making, by the way, the video you're going to see later on today, um, I recorded it. It's just going to be me talking about how my teacher writing me out. But let me just yap for a bit. Let me just yap for a bit. So what I made a mistake on was when I was recording that YouTube video, I was using my microphones. For those who are wondering what my microphones that I use, I use these. Um, I'm not going to name what they are. If y'all know, then y'all know I was using these microphones. Um, so when I was using them, I had to turn down the volume on my camera settings the audio, how to turn on the audio on the camera settings so that it, I could use most of the audio for the microphones. I did that, finished recording, cool. It was a banger, in my opinion, it was a banger. Um, hopefully y'all like it. I did not think about putting up again the audio where I had it before. Um, back to my default audio, if that makes any sense. When I record my vlogs, I have it on default audio. And obviously that's just like one of the best, I just leave it like I film is recommend one of the best audios to record videos. And I filmed, like I said, I filmed lots and lots of vlogs. Like I said, those vlogs were recorded from legit um, Monday till Friday. But since I didn't turn up that volume settings that I was just telling y'all about, all of the, literally all of the audio was legit low. And yeah, I went into my audio, I legit turned up all, um, basically I turned it up to max to see if it, you know, could go back to the audio where it should be at. And no, it didn't. Let me just play some clips for y'all so that y'all could believe me a little bit. So as y'all can see, that is legit full max volume and it did not do justice. But it is what it is. I'm just very frustrated and upset because like I said, I recorded um, days of videos. I recorded days of like just vlogs, you feel me? And I'm just very upset on myself because I didn't um, do that. I didn't like double check. That's why it's very important to double check. And that's why this is one of the worst parts about being a content creator. Make sure y'all, if you're going to get a camera, make sure your audio, your video, your whatever it is, is good. Double check, you feel me? Um, and yeah, let's get straight into the video. Just about every single time when I film these types of videos, I always need to have some sort of of beverage. You feel me? Because I always just get thirsty. So this is going to be a story time where I went to a conference in elementary, specifically second grade, and my second grade teacher ratted me out to my mom saying that I was going to basically fail the class and that I was just not going to pass. So let's get straight into today's YouTube video. It was a lovely day back in 2012. I remember it like if it was yesterday and our teacher had told all of us that parent teacher conference week was pulling up and I remember mine was on a thursday because my mom's days off would be always on a thursday when she would work back then you feel me now she doesn't work because you know her knee and she has a vertigo you feel me but we still getting through that when she told me that i already knew not gonna lie i was already gonna fail that is because around that time i was addicted to video games matter of fact that is the same year you feel me i got my console my first ever console for those newers or that don't really know me like that my first console was an xbox 360 and ever since i got hooked on to the xbox 360 i never went back if anything i got more addicted throughout the years even until now but anyways so i got an xbox 360 christmas then from there we had the parents teacher conference on spring aka march so then from there yeah to my mom I'm like mom um this thursday we have a parents teacher conference and then she was like i bet so I was always just terrified when these parents use conference because I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. My mom, every single time when the teacher would say something bad about me, like the teacher would say, Oh, you know, your son could be doing a little bit better on this. And my mom would always give me that death stare. Like, she would be like, and then under the table, she would just pinch me. I'm not even lying, bro. She would just do that. And I'm just like, bro, like, that's scary. Uh, so she would always do that ever since I was young, ever since actually the parents teacher conference started back in elementary i think it was like kindergarten i'm not even lying but um so yeah that happened right so thursday comes up 
and dude i already knew i was spending because like i said i was addicted to video games block ups 2 came out xbox Two came out da, 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 da. so my mom pulls up me and my mom she was like hey how are you and my mom's like good good you know she didn't really know how to speak english even though now she doesn't know how to speak english very well but she said good good and yeah and then obviously there was a translator basically literally the teacher got straight to it the teacher legit said to my mom's your son is about to fail he's not gonna go on to the next class if your son does not start doing good from now on to the end of the year my mom gave me a dead stare and then my mom legit pinched me like i said she pinched me under the table many times all the times that the teacher said that i was doing bad at school there goes one there goes one and there goes one and i'm not even lying i remember this also i was sitting down she legit like she was wearing her shoes at that time she legit like scratching me on my ankle and i was like i bet and then my mom would look at me sometimes so i'm not even lying like i said she would look at me and then she would be like and then yeah when you see that those hispanic kids that know already that means you're gonna get your butt whooped just saying and then from there it ended we went back home and then i was straight running to my xbox my mom's like no 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 that mess a chingadera i'm like what i was honestly so confused i'm like what it's like no you, you did bad on your conference i was honestly scared and i was honestly crying at that time because um legitly i was addicted my mom took it away obviously to discipline me to not you know do bad in school to do good and she told me i'll give it back to you but for now on you legit have to do your punishment um and it was just crazy because right after that she legit she legit grabbed i don't have it with me but she legit grabbed a cinto and i remember damn bro it was scary and i remember like i said it was just <laughs> it was just too much you feel me but um yeah my teacher basically said all that saying that i was not about to graduate or can you know just pass through the next you know grade um that, that her son is also addicted to uh, the video games to take it off so basically she gave the idea to my mom to take it off to unplug my console and take it with her to work my mom did that she carried her little purse her little bag she put my console in there i don't know how it fit but she, it went in there and then she also the teacher told my mom to um that like you know to tell me to read more books to do that to do that and my mom i remember she gave me like a dictionary matter of fact i don't even know if it was it i think it was actually a dictionary it wasn't like no reading book she, she did i remember she gave me a dictionary she made me read the whole thing i'm not even lying to y'all bro she made me read the whole thing and i'm just like bro this is just too much and then she made me write some paragraphs you feel me like copy this right right there i would not leave that table until i did that learned my mul is it multiplication or addition if I learned my addition and subtraction, I could go to sleep. If I did not know like the answer quick like that, she would make me stay up all night. I'm not even lying. Even on a school night, she would legit make me stay up all night. And when she did that, not gonna lie, bro, I was just falling asleep on that table. I was one of them kids that would legit go to the school, eat breakfast. Just like that, you feel me? But yeah, so it was just bad, man. My teacher basically went off on me, and then my mom went off on me, and then my dad, to be honest, he didn't really care, to be honest. If I'm keeping it a buck, my dad did not care. He just cared about making money, of course, you know, helping with the, you know, the bills here, this and that. And of course, he wanted me to do good in school, but it seems I'm not really, he didn't really care. My dad, actually, my mom was talking to my dad, and then my dad was like, it's all right next time you'll do better son and i'm like yeah yeah matter of fact he took me to the liquor that same day because he needed to buy a pack of cigarettes he bought himself a pack of cigarettes i remember he bought me my doritos and my coke my mom also didn't know this that i also had a friend's local here in the neighborhood and i would just go to their house and play the new block ops 2 that came out so regardless it was just a w for me and there was also a w for all the kids there i'm not even lying although i'm pretty sure some hispanic moms or parents or whatever um did give them that dead stare and legit went like this to them and they just told them that this was gonna happen at the crib when you when we get home this and that this and that um although it was minimum day we legit got out at like 12 depends on the grade i think like the lower you graded the lower or not the lower the, yeah the lower i can't even talk so it was the lower the grade the earlier you got out and then the later the, the later you got out you feel me i think the latest was like 1 30 1 o'clock i don't really remember so yeah so i think since i was in second grade i got out like at 12 or something like that and then from that would make my way to the cafeteria then go home and bro i remember i was walking back home with my mom she would always want to pick me up yeah because her, her job would be close by then we would just go walking home you feel me but it was hot it was extremely hot especially that there would be you would go up like a hill in the mornings bro i was just tired 
tired, sleep deprived. I just did not want to do anything. And then going up that hill, I remember going back to, you feel me? Like going up that hill, the top of the hills of the school. So I always just go walking, like barely making out of breath, grabbing my knees, like grabbing my water bottle of Lightning McQueen and just taking a sip, putting it back in my backpack and then going up the little hill continuing, you feel me? But that is the story on how my mom's basically disciplined me when I was a kid.